The pro-democracy protest in Hong Kong on Sunday was one of the most violent ones seen in over 12 weeks. Police used the strongest force yet with water cannons, tear gas and even a warning gunshot. Kim Dami has the details. Hong Kong police deployed water cannons and live ammunition, firing a warning shot for the first time on Sunday. Hundreds of thousands of protesters poured onto the streets and clashed with police in the new territories. Police accused the demonstrators of throwing bricks, which prompted them to fire tear gas and use water cannons. A police officer fired at least one gunshot for the first time in three months of protest. Police said an officer had fired into the air because he felt his life was threatened. It was unclear where the shot was aimed, but it was fired toward the sky. And a female Hong Kong protester arrested during a demonstration on Friday has accused a female Hong Kong police officer of conducting a humiliating and unnecessary body search. On Saturday, a senior Hong Kong official hinted at mainland China possibly intervening militarily to quell the protest. Maria Tam, deputy director of the Hong Kong Basic Law Committee, said soldiers stationed close to Hong Kong are not straw men meant to just stay in the garrison. They are an important part of the one country, two systems. Hong Kong's civil groups will hold an extradition law and Me Too protest in Charter Garden and Central District on Wednesday night. The protest began in June over a controversial but now scrapped extradition law. They now focus on greater democratic freedoms, including an inquiry into alleged police brutality. Kim Dami, Arirang News.